we are so lucky. We have the one and only uneducated economist. How you doing, Simon? Doing awesome, man. Thank you for inviting me on today. Oh, I appreciate it. I love talking with you. You give me great insights all the time. We are going to do a second video about lumber, but video number one, I want to talk about George Gammon, someone you know personally. Uh, You've been invited to speak at his events. You communicate with him regularly. Uh, He just put out a video talking about a 50% housing crash in prices on a real versus nominal basis, which is a subtle tweak. Uh, But you had a chance to watch it. I'd like to get your early reaction, what you thought of that. Yeah. Um, yeah. George is a great guy. George has really done a lot for me and my channel. He, I mean, I cannot thank him enough, um, especially the invites to go and speak down at the uh, Rebel Capitalist for the conference. I mean, that was really something that just kind of changed my life, really, because it was like an event that is something way beyond anything I ever thought I would do. Um, but yeah, he invited me down to speak about my insights into the lumber industry. Um, I watched his recent video that he was talking about as far as the 50% drop in housing, housing prices. And, um, really the beginning of the video is so good. I mean, he did such a great job of breaking down, um, the inflation scenario and the feds reaction to it all. It, he does this whiteboard videos that are just like, they're really, really good. Um, and he nails it. He absolutely nails every aspect from the Federal Reserve's position, their monetary policy, the complications, you know, comparing like the CPI to, you know, the Fed funds rates and, you know, all this stuff. Like he really breaks it down well. The only the only thing that I have to push back against this scenario that he talks about is that he doesn't mention anything from the supply side, not a single thing. Right. And that's really like you have a supply. He talks completely about the demand side, which he nails. I mean, absolutely nails it perfectly. But if you looking at the prices from a supply versus demand and you only take on the demand side, thinking that the supply is a constant. Right. Then it it fails. It fails to to come up with with the with the with the proper, you know, answer on it. And yeah. and I'm not saying like George is inaccurate for the rest of the video and all the predictions and everything that comes with it is this that from the supply side of things, because that's really where I look at from a lot of things right. is the distribution network, the supply side of things. There is huge disruptions that are still taking place within that. And to me, like if you avoid including that within your predictions, then you're going to miss you're probably going to end up missing the mark. Um yeah. At least that's 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 my opinion on it. But as far as understanding the demand side of things, I, I mean, he, he I mean, you cannot get any more accurate than what he was describing it as. So I, I am so glad you looked at it. I've watched the video a couple of times now as a lot of people ask me to react to it. And I have to tell you right now, this is why I love talking to you. I completely miss that. Yeah. Completely. Yeah, miss everybody. It. Does. Yeah. Yeah. You're absolutely right. The supply side is missing. And that the really subtle thing of this is that's why you and I've talked in the past about the crash bros just under a generic umbrella. They too missed the supply side. All of them have held constant at 6 million transactions, which we had for a decade. What they have missed is now we're going to do 4 million and likely do a little less than 4 million the next several years. So the constant assumption at 6 million doesn't hold water, right? If you were going to tell me somehow, some way supply would go up and we would do 6 million transactions, I'd go, Simon, prices are coming down. But we're not doing six, we're doing four. We might even do 3.8 or 3.7. That's a very different demand and supply equation. You are so right. 